start that recording. Boom. I know absolutely zero about this game. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, I would love to save here. And it's very loud, I feel like. Novel. There's journalist and adventure. Get my mouse out of there. All I know is that it's an escape room. Novel screen. A loud noise startled Jinpei awake, and his eyes snapped what? open. What the? Oh, it's got voice acting too. Oh. Ah. As they adjusted to the light, he realized that. Oh, uh, fuck! Stop! Why is it? Why did it do that? Oh, it was to interrupt me on purpose. With a crack of with a crack, Jinpei's head connected with something metal. He rolled over and threw out his hand to steady himself, but he found himself groping in empty air. Whoa! His balance lost and his still fuzzy mind struggling to understand what was going on, Jinpei tumbled down to the cold gray floor. Ouch, God damn it. Ah, what the hell? A bed? Ah, I fell pretty far. What is this? Oh! It's novel and okay, so it's I can have more reading or less reading. <sighs> that really hurt. It's funny that you can do that on yeah, like on your own. Sight's kind of blurry. Must have hit my head. No, wait. That's it's not it. it. The whole screen is vibrating. Oh God. An earthquake. But it it's shaking too fast for that. Uh, anyway. Wait, it... it stopped? What's that sound? Are we on like a ship? Is that what was... That's... Five? What's this five mean? Ah, it won't open. What's this? Is this keeping the door shut? Hey! Hello? Is anyone there? Open the door! Huh? What the hell is this? A watch? And mm, so I'm five. 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 That's, that's the same as the door. What Presumably the there are... How do I take this off? However many... There are eight other people. Maybe... Pushing something on this will work? Nothing. Damn. Guess I'll have to force it off. No good. This stupid thing won't come off. What the hell is the deal with this thing? Where am I? And why the hell am I here? Why? What the hell happened to me? <laughs> oh. Ah, ah, my head. This guy sounds like a goober. This is... Hold on. Uh, what the hell's going on here, Tommy? I can't see anything. If only it wasn't so dark outside. Huh? Mm -hmm. What? Whoa. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What what the hell is going on here? Oh, that's great. That's lovely. What the hell? God damn it. God damn it. Solve the puzzle and get out already. Come on, if you're there, say something. 
This music is fucking penisy. Well, let's check everything in the room. Let's do the visual novel thing. Whoa! Seek a way out. Look at that badly compressed fucking... What is this camera? Oh, that's where I am? Operations during an escape. During an escape, you are restricted to an area. Your goal, search around to uncover how to unlock the door. There are items and hints in the room that will help you escape. Click on a location you find suspicious to search the room. Just Q or E to move around. Okay, so I can just click. Give me that. What's on, what's this business? Look at the note about items. Once you've obtained an item, you'll be able to go to the item screen. Clicking item on the top left will take you to the item screen. Okay, well, I guess this is something. It seems important, but I don't know why. Investigate, oh, okay. So you can use uh, rope on rubber chicken. V. Picture frame. That's a ship. That's a, that's a, a JPEG of a ship, all right. Okay, so go back. Nothing in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Give me it. Give me the screwdriver, baby! Oh yeah. Let's let combine to combine two items. Okay. Yeah, key! Look at this. Getting all kinds of stuff. A little blue key. Okay, so maybe there's a red key around here somewhere. No dice, it's locked. It's like I've got to put the key in the keyhole in order to enter a number. Oh, wait. There we go. This is, uh, this is starting off, and nothing. Guess I need the code. During an escape, your investigation may trigger one of several mini games. All operations for the mini games are done by clicking on the screen. Some mini games will require you to manipulate something, while others will require you only to apply the right object or click the right thing. Clicking the dial will cause it to move to the next number. Your four numbers this way and click the key. If the numbers are correct, it will unlock. Well, I don't know. I don't know them. Might make me feel better. Not gonna help though. All right, Junpei, don't freak out. Keep it cool and look around for some clues. Back. Nothing else, nothing here. What is this? Huh. Sweet. <laughs> What's up? I don't know. It looks, uh, I don't know, a little weird. I look like a zombie. Man, what the hell happened to me? How did I end up here? I left work, headed back to my apartment. And... This is Dipper. This is Dipper clothes. What's wrong with your face? Yeah. And. I don't know. He looks a little fucked up. Whoa, this is a lot of- what the fuck? This is a ton of extra detail. I guess I just want to blow through it, but like... He's, uh, he's very normal. And he's almost out of college. Stepped inside and turned on the lights. The fluorescent lights on the ceiling blinked and flickered slowly to life, as if awake, waking from a deep slumber. Man, work was rough today. Look at this fucking picture. Look at this picture-ass picture of a place. 
come on. Everything was as he left it. The magazines, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, see, so fuck, exactly. Yeah, never mind. It's going away. Everything was the same, except he left the window open. Huh, that, that's weird. Did I leave that open? Hmm, everything looks okay. I must have forgotten to close it. Whoa! What? Who were... Dioxin. I can't. It's a figure of speech. He doesn't mean literally a zombie. Consider this a privilege. You have been chosen. You are going to participate in the game. I want to play a game. The I want to play a game. game. The nonary game. It is a game where you will put your I mean, life there just means game. nine. guy with the gas mask that son of a bitch must have taken me here when I get my hands on him well I, I guess there's no way to know if that was a man or not just who was that yeah make sure make sure to qualify that real fast before we have to try and figure out who this guy actually is you, said you have been chosen what the hell is going on why me the nonary game. It is a game where you will put your life on the line. The nonary game. Huh. Ah. Huh. Nonary game. What the hell is a nonary game? Ah, God damn it! He loves God damn it. The nano machines. What's with this thing? I guess it's a lever. If I pull it. Well, it looks like pulling on the lever just makes a weird noise. Great. The light's still red, and the di this display hasn't changed. Damn it! Why the hell isn't this thing opening? The groove on the side of this thing looks like it's made to have a key card swiped through it, or something like that. Maybe if I can find a card, I can unlock this thing. Okay. And there's water coming in. It's like a water or something. It's water and water and water. Water and water and water, water. Some chairs. It's a pipe. I know, I'll crawl into the pipe. But there's nobody here to make fun of my lame jokes. Man, this sucks. What a fucking dipshit. Nothing on it. Okay. Oh, there you go. You have their flow chart. I forgot. I. I've heard that this game is deranged. The key in. What about? Let me go back. Was there anything on the back of this? No. Okay, so got the screws off. Yeah, look at it. Yeah, okay. Okay. So seven. Four, six, three, oh. let's try that, that's corresponds to the seven, four, six, three, no, Maybe six. Oh, fuck. Five. Five. Four, three. No. Hmm. 
Okay, so... I'm not sure... This correlates to numbers. This is confusing. Okay, so... That is... I didn't get the numbers wrong, right? Seven, four, six, three, yeah, okay. But what about... Maybe this is for a different puzzle? Maybe this is for something on that thing? I don't know. Oh, you have a calculator on here? Is that what it's saying? I don't know what the fuck that was. Alright, well, let's go back. <sighs> Clearly there's a red key and a blue key, but I'm not sure... Oh, I lost my... I lost my screwdriver, huh? Well, that's great. I'm not gonna, like, break the mirror or something. Clearly that's not an option. I also don't need to use those, so I'm gonna stop using them. There's really nothing else to interact with, though. Maybe this? Aha! Uh -huh. Oh! There's a red case. It's just like the blue brief plate. Okay, quick, 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 quick. Put the key in. Not opening. In fact, it's not doing anything at all. Guess I can move the dial now. So I'm gonna have to put in the right numbers. So. Fuck. It's not opening, obviously. Hmm, one... Let's try the opposite. One... Oh, this can't have a zero. And this can have all the way up to ten. But we can only do... We can do big numbers on the left. And only... And get zero. And we can only have one through five on the second one. So... Clearly, there's something going on. Something's going on. Maybe it'll work with this one? 7463 Fuck Do I have anything? There's maybe there's something else I'm missing. There's some hangers on the pole. Well, shit. Um, man, this is already my brain is already stupid. I'm very mad at myself. And this is also zero one zero one. That's not helpful. I want to try to get through this, but if I'm already failing, that's not a great sign. Five, huh? What does that mean? There aren't any other options. I'm looking for another option to make things make sense. But it's not. Is there anything in this bed? Damn, nothing here. Can't bring myself to call this a bed. I want like a board and a sheet on it. I want like a hunk of wrought iron. That didn't, there's no, that doesn't make any sense. You're clearly in the cabin of some boat. You moron. This guy's as dumb as I am. We've gotta die someday, but I sure as hell don't want it to be here. Fuck. 
fuck. Is there anything in the sink? It's the only drain in the room. Won't be draining any water here, I guess. Um, nothing on the shelf. Come on, man. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Chairs, the water, it's a table. <sighs> I swear to God. Can I combine it with this to get... No. Clearly fucking not. So clearly the obvious... I mean, obviously the colors have something to do with this, but... What exactly? From left to right. Seven, four, six, three. But it's not... Maybe they're inverted? So on the blue one, it'd be two? Two, four, six, three? Or two, four, six... Two, four, six, eight? No, because that would... You can't go over five. Oh no, you... Wait. Yeah, you can't go. Let's try. Let's try 2463. Two, four, six, three. Fuck. Plugging in random numbers is all I've got, man. Yeah, but how? That's the question, is how do they, they correspond? So, this is seven. I was going to say try it in reverse order, but the second things don't go all the way up on, um... On that, on those other, on the second slots. I'm just about to look this up, because I really don't want to stay forever on this. But my brain isn't putting these things together. Because there's no half squares. I mean, they're all half squares. A triangle is half a square. But. Could the zero one zero one that it starts on have no? Because it's it starts on one because it doesn't have zero in the second slot. Clearly, there's something to do with that. Because the default way it shows it to me is left to right. Fuck it. Let's just try adding up to nine. No. Hmm, two plus five plus two equals nothing. 
I have no idea. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't have to put up with this bullshit. I'll use my brain. Fucking ridiculous. Blah, blah, blah. King of the water. Mm hmm. Um, five door screen and find the mirror. Take the red key. No, that's not the code. That's not the code. What are you talking about? Fuckers! Fucking, what do you mean? What do you mean? Let's look at this again. Let's look at our item, okay? We have. Yeah, okay. If you match it up. Uh, what is it? This is a lie! This is there's it's lying to me. Ugh. I guess there maybe might be another thing. I checked everything though. Fuck you, door. Does their look around for things? Little bonk. Oh, I was wondering why it fucking let me in here. Okay, thank you. I just didn't have a piece. That's fine. That's fine. As long as it's... So this is a big zero. So zero... Two... Six... Three... Zero... Two... Six, three. Ah, oh, thank God. All right, let's see if these numbers work. A turn of the key and hey, looks like it's working. Yes. All right, let's open it up. Yes, it opened. Looks like there's something in here. What is this? A file? File screen. If you find any documents or notes during an escape, the information contained in them will be available on the file. Screen. <laughs> Press right. Alright, let's see what's in this file. Uh, digital root. Let's see here. Compute a digital root with the following steps. Add all the numbers in question to one another. You end up finding something greater than a single digit number, add all the digits to one another. For instance, if you have a double digit number, add the number in the tens place to the number in the ones place. Keep adding the digits into the, in this manner until you have a single digit answer. It's the digital root. Digital root of 678 would be 21, 21 is 3. Okay. Digital root of one, two, three, four. So three plus three plus four is ten. One plus zero is one. So 
looks like there's something on the back of this thing. A notebook, a pen, and a calculator. It's gonna be fucking stupid math bullshit. Great. A stack of blue key cards. Lovely. New material has been added to the file screen. Calculator. Press left to open the calculator. Calculate a digital root, which is important. It's not really that hard to do a digital root. It's just you know what? Okay, let's look at the let's let's get this case open first. So seven four, I believe that was. Yeah, seven four eight five. One more time. Seven four eight five. Hey oh we're doing it, folks. We're getting there. I unlocked it. Oh, thank God. Oh, good. Some more cards. Okay. I guess we can just try these key cards on the thing. Get me out of here. There we go. cards with the numbers on them. I'm pretty sure this is where I'm supposed to use them. All right, let's slide these cards in and see if they work. And... Huh? It's not working. Why? Damn it! No, 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 that's right. I still have these cards I haven't used. Damn it. Not again. There aren't any more cards in here. I've only got one other hint. Uh, of course, the files. That file said something about a digital root. A digital root. The digital root, huh? What am I supposed to do with... Well, there's, there's a five on that door. Do I have to get a digital root of five? I'm not really sure about this. Uh, whatever, it's worth a shot. Let's see if this works. I'll just slide the cards that give me the digital root of five through the reader. Click three cards to select them. The digital root of the selected cards will be displayed. Clicking reset will deselect all currently selected cards. After you've selected three cards, click on the device. Okay, so we need a digital root of five. There we go. That's nice that they just told me. <laughs> hey oh Let's say 13 and one. Huh? Did it just unlock? Well, that light was red, and now it's blue. No doubt about it. There's nothing keeping me in here now. Time to go. The only door in and out of this room is right next to this weird device. Well, go, go, go to it. Jeez, man. You found it. <laughs> That's such a Japanese. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Ow. And the water pushes us uh, out. Head. Wait, is it... is it over? Whew. That felt too much like being flushed down a toilet. Damn. <laughs> oh, man. Well, better than drowning, I guess. Am I in a hallway? Oh. A door. Another door. Damn this... Water, God, let me go. Let me go. Uh, it, uh. it opened. I don't know why what? this guy just seems so fucking whiny hell? to me. This is the inside of a ship. Yeah, no shit. Well, yeah, that's what I thought. This is totally a. Wait, what the hell? Oh, oh Jesus. Oh shit. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. My man is not in shape. A -deck. Hurry, hurry. A -deck's next. What? Oh, hello, characters. People. Look at this fucker. Who the fuck is this guy? I mean, who the fuck are any of them, but 
this guy specifically. He looks like a prota- I mean, they all sort of look protagonist-ish. Um... Uh... I guess it's another one of us now. Uh, a, a, a dancer? No, I'm not. You better get moving. Well, you should have sure could have fooled oh, me, lady. Oh, oh, okay, then. S silver hair? Huh? <laughs> one of us, huh? We're, what? Nothing. Going up won't do you any good. There are two doors, but neither of them will open. What? What? Uh, hello? Hello, Ansem. Wait, hold on. The, the doors won't open? Come on! Aren't you coming? You gotta hurry! The doors to darkness will not be opening. That's nine of us, then. All of the cards are in hand. Wait! They're gone. Just what is going on? There's an old man like a lion, a girl with pink a lion? hair, a prince, and I have no idea what they're talking about. Huh? Uh, hmm. uh, <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> this guy's so uh, fucking awkward. What was that all about? Also, I mean, all all visual novel protagonists are stupid. Did you hear him? Uh, the doors on A deck are no good. We gotta check the doors on B deck. Got it? Now go! Oh. Hey man, that was dangerous. Huh? Or and this one says. <laughs> what a dumbass. The room I woke up in had a number on the door just like that. <sighs> you too, eh? My cell was the same. A number upon the door. I opened it. Ran down the hallway outside and found myself in a rather grand room full of stairs, as I suspected the rest of you. Me too. I love how they're mountain. There was a door with a number on it. Yes, we all saw the same thing. That's not important. We need to hurry. You think I don't know that lady? C come on. Open, damn it! Fuck, it's not opening. <laughs> this damn thing won't even budge. Out of my way. They're just hitting the door. It's clearly a pull door. A body slam from a guy that big didn't even budge it. I mean, it's a metal door. This looks just like the device next to the door Oh, oh, this is him. His internal monologue. I got like whiplash for a second as he started like tel telepathically projecting. It's got his little way. <laughs> this is insane. So that means this door is probably locked too. Why is it gotta have a spooky echo? It could just be That's internal. Cool. You could just have internal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or you could put parentheses. There are plenty of options instead of this goofiness. Oh, it switches to novel sometimes. He'd scarcely taken a step when, at the top of the stairs, next to an ornate clock embedded in the wall, he saw a person. It was a girl. She looked to be the same age as Junpei. He froze, unable to look away from her face. He wasn't confounded by her beauty or something equally silly. No, there was another reason he couldn't take his eyes off the girl. Junpei had seen her somewhere before. He couldn't quite remember what fucking childhood friends. Childhood friends, childhood friends. Look at this relatively normal ass per Obviously, this is some insane shit. But his normal ass and her normal ass, childhood friends. The girl, too, stared at Junpei, similarly stunned. Her response suggested she'd seen him before as well. Shiro, yeah. Huh? Without saying, there's a lot of, huh? Huh? She didn't move. It was almost as though she was held in place by some sort of magic spell. As Junpei stepped onto the, to her landing, the spell broke. No sooner had he set his foot down than the whole ship shook a second time. Whoa! The quake caught the girl unprepared, and she fell. Watch out! 
Moving on instinct, Junpei leapt to catch her. Or so he thought. They just fell on top of each other. Her face was far closer than it should have been. Mere inches yeah. from his own. There's lots of... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Lots of lots of goober noises coming out of this guy. For a moment, that seemed to stretch for a very long time. They stared at one another. The ship stopped shaking. Everything was quiet. Water could be heard from the bottom of the ship, lapping faintly at walls and ceilings. But eventually, that faded as well. Was my phone? Don't beep at me. Stop beeping. Throwing my phone. Yeah, there it goes. Phone gone. Phone's gone. Oh my gosh, is that you, Jumpy? Jump. So Jumpy is how, if I was like a forty-year-old man, maybe they're siblings. Jumpy. No, I bet it is child. I bet I'm right. I bet I'm right. His memory. Akane. Because he would recognize his own sister immediately, but a childhood friend, he'd need, he'd need a second. Akane Kurashiki. She and Junpei had been friends in childhood. They'd gone to elementary school together for six years. Ooh. Ooh. Look at, look at these fucking normal losers. Well, all these protagonists. He was transfixed by uh, having talked to her before. <laughs> he could feel his face heating up. At that moment... I can barely understand what this guy's saying. It's a, it's a very good thing that we have these... Because he is... What's that voice? I don't know. It's completely unintelligible. Oh. This is... Yeah, this has got to be a girl. I also agree. Kind of short. Super distorted voice. Mask. mask. Yeah, that guy. Hey, asshole! What the hell is this? Come on out here. I want to get a look at you. What do you mean to do to us? <laughs> no, I don't think it is either, but it's kind of, it's just close enough. Nonary game. What the hell's that? What is he talking about? Hey, there's something in my pocket. Check this out. Hey, I, I got one too. Then it would seem Zero has seen fit to grace us each with a letter. Would you mind terribly reading it to us, young man? On this ship, you will find a handful of doors emblazoned with numbers. We will call them the numbered doors. The doors in front of you are a pair of the same. The key to opening these numbered doors are the numbered bracelets that each of you possess. Should you total the numbers on your numbered bracelets... Oh yeah, you missed it when I said Ansem's here earlier. <laughs> ...and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Only those who have opened the door may pass through. There are, however, limits. Only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute. So this thing on my arm is... I would... I don't know. The purpose of the game is simple. Leave this ship alive. It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door that carries <laughs> a nine. Seek the power that lies in darkness. Bearer seek, seek last.
Yeah, the Titanic. I will give you more time. Yeah, nine hours. Okay, nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Great. over by the stairs it's the clock telling us the time it rang nine times so nine o'clock then I think it's 9 p.m. I couldn't see anything when I tried looking out the window earlier it has to be nighttime well I mean your end was facing down into the water if but that is the case then we would need to escape by 6 a.m. tomorrow. Hey, you bastard! What do you mean by that? Come out here, you asshole! Lots of swearing uh, right up front. Stop shouting. And the others. Which is kind of funny. Okay, so clearly this is a novel. Oh no. I kind of figured that it would tell me more than meh. Uh, I have way too many questions. Oh, he was literally consumed by his thoughts. Because it went to his thoughts. Hero? What's the knowingly game? What's it for? I don't know why. Is he some nut job just doing this to mess with us? Is that advance? Like to advance things along and Why fucking move it? When am I supposed to switch to novel? I guess it switches to novel on purpose. But if it's not gonna fucking say anything. Why is Akane here? I haven't seen her since elementary school. Why her? Why now? Well, why? What's with this? What's with this design element? With the going through the, the scarf? Why would you wrap your scarf like that? Do you have brain damage? I think you might have brain damage. No, there's no way. There has to be a reason. I don't know what exactly, but there has to be. Very well. Standing around here won't do us any good. Best we get moving, don't you think? Get moving? Are you planning to open the numbered doors? Hey, wait! But don't tell me you're actually gonna do what this this zero says. Uh, survive? Yeah, I am. No, no, that's not what I mean. I'm saying let's find another way. After all, we haven't really examined this place yet. We... what? Where have we not looked? Everyone searched a deck already, right? Yeah, we were kind of in a rush though, so we probably missed some things. Why don't we check out the lower floors first? We should see how deep this place goes. I can work with that. Then let's go. All right. And sea deck again. Whoa! What the hell? It's completely submerged. Damn. But the water's not going any further, is it? Like okay, it is rising. No, I don't believe that's something we have to worry about. See? The water's not flowing. Okay. See? Oh, I was right. I was saying it looks in completely sti still. The water has been stopped. Perhaps this Zero fellow has used some sort of remote control to seal a watertight door lower down. He said that our time limit was nine hours. In other words, this water won't rise for nine hours. Then you're saying we won't sink till then. Well, that may be a little too optimistic. No point to wishful thinking. That's depressing. Why is his eyes closed? If we don't determine a way to advance from this he doesn't look like a typical closed eyes a protagonist, or not protagonist, but main character. It looks that way. Hey, hold on. How about we check C deck before we jump to any conclusions? We might find something there. Huh, you're right. I think we should look at the metal doors by the big staircase too. They're pretty suspicious. <laughs> there are numbers on either door. And I don't see an authentication device either. Nope. It's locked. This one too. Damn, none of the doors are opening. Hey guys, over here. There's another door behind the stairs. <sighs> this one doesn't open either. We'll see about that. Hey, old man. Give me a hand. 
using force. I see. Let's give it a try. <laughs> he loves it. Yeah, hit that fucking door. It won't budge. Could you not just start shouting out of nowhere? You almost gave me a heart attack, you know. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Burr. It doesn't appear to have moved even with two of us trying. It's very well made. Try using your brain first. Huh? Take a closer look. A keyhole? Right. It's obvious what we need to open this door. <clears throat> a key. <clears throat> you got a problem? No. I just really doubt we'll find a key that easily. <sighs> What's this? There's a mark on it. D does it mean something? Hey, look! Over here, too! Hmm? More doors. I think they're elevators. There's an inverted triangle button by them. May as well try pressing it. Huh. Nothing. Well, it's got Maybe a thingy. Or we need to do something with this card reader. And there's a strange mark here. Oh! Oh, that's, um, that's Nepeta? I think. What is this? That's, um, what's it called? It's, um, it's one of them horoscope signs. It looks like or a maybe it's Neptune. With a dash drawn across the upper they'll they'll probably page. tell us. This, this seems... Is symbol of Saturn. Oh, Saturn. It's an astrological symbol. Okay, so I was close. The mark on the other door. I think that was the sun symbol. Well, great. You know astrology. The same you also like read Homestuck. Thank you very much. I don't remember that. Adek, huh? Huh. I haven't been there, so I wouldn't know. You may as well check again since we're talking about it. There. The <laughs> next to the stairs. The one on the left had a keyhole with a similar symbol engraved on it. She's right. It, it looks similar to what we saw downstairs. It's not the same. This is an Earth symbol. An Earth symbol. The horizontal line symbolizes the equator, and the vertical one represents the prime meridian. I see. I see. The ceiling. Metal plates. Huh. It's as if it's covering something up. More water. Perhaps it was a this is a, of some kind. This is a set. I wish we could get out through there. I bet this is a set. Be realistic. We'd need a lot of explosives to open that up. The windows the earth. Huh. They're all covered. In other words, no way out. We're trapped. All the exits go nowhere. Well, I'm sure they go somewhere. We just can't open them. Oh, well. You don't know that. For all we know, they just open into walls or take us in circles. No. I'm sure they go somewhere. Otherwise, what point would there be? And we can open them. Well, two of them at least. Oh, you mean the numbered doors. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we should do that. We'd have to be crazy to open these doors. Why? If we do that, we're doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. There's not another op. Chill out. Might as well give it a shot. Can't stay here forever. Yes. Yeah, if you want to sit and well. fucking lay around on the floor, no, I'm then totally fine. Well, then uh, you don't Shouldn't have to be involved. Oh, you could just happen. sit down. We stay here, stay here for nine hours and that. die. Eight and a half hours, this ship is going to sink. Uh. Hey, shut up. Before we try and decide where we're going to go, there's something else we ought to do. What's that? We need to exchange information. We don't know anything about each other. I want to know who you guys are. Who you are, where you came from, why you ended up here. Don't tell me you aren't curious too. I agree. I think Jumpy is right. Jumpy? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about him. I just call him Jumpy. His name is Junpei. 
we're childhood friends. We went to the same elementary school. Yeah, that makes us more important than the rest of you, because despite all being protagonists, uh, we're two normal people who know each other, which is way fucking weirder. <laughs> Wait, stop. Don't tell us stuff we didn't ask you about. Zero's probably watching us right now. What are you going to do if he's listening in? Nothing. Oh, that be bad? He kidnapped us, bro. He knows everything oh, yeah. already. We don't know how much that bastard knows about us. Maybe he just picked a bunch of random people to kidnap. If that is the case, then it'd be dangerous for us to let him know too much. Nah. If Zero knows who we are. He could go after our families. I... Well, that means you have a family. Maybe he'd tell us he had them to get us to do stuff, you know? But we still need to know what our names are. It's going to be hard to talk to each other if we don't have names. All right, then why don't we have code names? Code names? Yeah, we'll each pick something. Like, I'll be seven. Oh, you could just be your seven? number, huh? Why are you seven? Because this bracelet number says seven. Oh, I get it. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, I'm going to be Santa. Excuse me? Any of you chumps know Japanese? No? Well, sun means three. So, I'll be Santa. You know, like Santa Claus. Fits, don't you think? What the fuck? What? So, Santa? Then your bracelet number. Yeah, it's got a three on it. Good job, Grandpa. Very well then. I'll go next, shall I? My bracelet number is one. Given that, I think Ace seems appropriate. Ace. I'll be Lotus then. As I'm sure you all know, it has eight petals. Oh boy. Which means, of course, that my bracelet number is eight. I would appreciate it if you would call me Snick. Like five? My oh, okay, two. No, because I'm five. They already know Since my fucking name. Has chosen cards, then I choose dice. Snake eyes, clearly. Which is particularly relevant given that I am blind. Oh, that's why his eyes are closed. You can't see? I knew it. Me next. I want to be Clover. You yeah, because you're four, like a four leaf clover, yeah. Alright, my number's five. So my code name is gonna be. Why well, have one? It's not like there's any point to it now. I mean, we all know your name already. You're Junpei. Oh. Well, don't keep saying it. Then you should all call me by my name too, because I mean, it doesn't seem. It doesn't seem fair to Jumpy. You're thinking it's not cool for you to hide your name after you told us his. Uh, really, it's fine. Number? What's Six. your number? Six. Six. All right then. Uh, why don't we call you June? June? Yeah, you know, it's the it's the sixth month of the year. So you're June. Jumpy? Are you good with that? Uh, yeah. Why is this? I don't like this guy's voice. This guy has like, like, like internet reviewer voice. It's unsettling. And the way he's talking now when he's like kind of talking low. Are you okay with like, uh, 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 uh. Okay then. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So this is how everyone breaks down. One is Ace. Two is Snake. Three is Santa. Four is Clover. Five is me. Six is June. Seven is seven. <laughs> and eight is Lotus. That means eight of us have revealed our bracelet numbers. Wait, where'd that other squirrely guy go? That yeah. Guy with hair like a bird's nest. You haven't said a thing so far, have you? Yeah, this guy's fucking suspicious. Uh, <laughs> what number are you? Mm. Hey, I'm talking to you. Is he? Isn't it obvious? There are nine people here, and you know who numbers one through eight are. <laughs> he sounds like Weird I'm Al. The only one left. <laughs> oh, now he's doing a shaggy. This dude's. So you're nine. Yeah. What's your code name? Uh, code name? 
Oh, man. What do you want us to call oh, jeez. Mr. Papadopoulos would be real mad. I don't need one. Why not? Because I am not going to stay here with you. You've got some sort of plan? I do. Yeah? What's that? You sure you want to know? Yeah. All right. Let me show you. I'm going to do this. Hey, what the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, Jesus. Stay back. Ah, if you get any closer, I'll cut her open. Like, man. Uh, no shit, this guy was suspicious. Yeah, that's right. Clover, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Wonder if they know each other. What the hell are you trying to do? I told you. This is my plan. What are you gonna do to her, you sick son of a bitch? Don't worry. I'm not gonna do anything to her. If she just does what I tell her to, I'll let her go. <laughs> Slowly. That's right. Just what are you, stupid? E even if you are nine, Here, you still can't get into the. Huh? The left. Look on your left. You still need three people to get in the door. Place your hand You're... on the scanner panel, the round part. Oh, this guy knows something. Wait, don't. This guy fucking knows are shit. You an idiot? What do you think? <laughs> like, what do you I think, man? Right now. Like, I me. I what a dork is. is your bracelet. <laughs> Just do it. Do it now. Uh, okay, I'll do it. Like this. Yeah, he clearly knows what's up. Yeah, we get it. I understand that that just happened. You total the numbers on your numbered bracelets and find that the digital root of that number is equal to the number of that door, the door will open. Door 5. But why does this guy know so much about how this thing works? It's like he knows exactly what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Good. You're done. Next, you, right? You're the one with the number one bracelet, right? Yes, I am. So? Then so. you're next. Hmm. Just verify your number like this little brat did. <laughs> what are you doing? Do it! We all have Don't to go through the right doors. Happens, okay, okay, just calm down. I'm coming over. Now, verify. All right, this is what you wanted, right? <laughs> this dude's a fucking putz. Device has both Clover and Ace's numbers, four and one. Four plus one is five. Plus nine is four. Written on the door, but it won't open. Yet. Or plus nine is five, actually, Only three because five people can pass through one numbered door. One more person. If what Zero said is true, he needs one more person. Who? Who does he need? Get he back. needs himself. No! Farther! More than that! Go all the way back! Okay. <laughs> Wait. Uh, don't tell me. Clover's four. And Ace, Ace is, one. is one. Added to the ninth. Ace is nine. 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 Four plus one plus nine is... And the digital root of fourteen. It's five. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> This dude's this dude's insane. Thank God you were all so cooperative. Now I can get out of this nightmare. Five is just gonna open into another room, probably with Good. more puzzles. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> I don't need you anymore. Here. No. She's all yours. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, guys. I'm going off ahead now. Well then, goodbye. Oh, I don't like... Yeah, he's... He's done. That's not gonna work. Clover, are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Damn it! That bastard! Open, damn it! 
Shit! It won't budge. Did you hear that beeping? I heard beeping. Hear something? Like what? Like some sort of beeping. Yeah. You're right. I can hear it too. What is it? Why is it stopping? God damn it! You you lied! Lied? This wasn't supposed to happen! This is wrong! This is wrong! What is happening in there? Open the door! Please. Wait, like one of us? You. Help me! Please get me out of here! Well, we're letting you explode. Ugh, God damn it! Why? Why won't it work? Engaged? Is it because it's occupied? No, I guess we needed to... Oh my god, oh my god! There's no time left. I guess we needed someone to explain why they wouldn't just... To. Go... To me. He put me in here. Who did? It was him! He killed me! It was him! Zero? <laughs> Does he mean Ace? I mean, obviously, I guess it's supposed to be vague. Cause like a beep. Did that thing just make that sound? Um, the display changed from engaged to vacant. Let's see if we can open it. Okay. Well, it registered my bracelet number, but it won't open with one person. We need at least two more people. What to do? Ace and Lotus, Snake and Seven, or Santa and June? Who do we want? Um. I don't know. Let's, well, let's see, how many guys are there? So, Ace, Snake, Seven, and Santa are the guys here. Maybe Snake and Seven? I mean, it would have been Seven. Seven's stupid. San so, Santa, Snake, and Ace are our candidates for, for he lied to me. I don't know. I, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just do with because this is the one it started us on. You think you could give me a hand here? Hmm. Five plus one plus eight equals fourteen. The digital root of fourteen, 14 is five. Thank you. Thank you now for explaining again. On the side. You guys ready? I'm gonna open it. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, that was an explosion. Good god, god y'all. Pretty bad. He he blew up. Ah! Ooh, he blew up a lot. Uh, June, uh, uh, are you okay? What the hell? Where'd this fever come from? Oh no, she's got anime wasting disease. Okay, okay uh, let's just rest for a minute, okay? Uh, you think you can walk? Got anime wasting disease. She's got animator or anime oh, no. like Oni San fucking sickness. How are you feeling? Uh, are you all right? Why? Why did this happen? Why did this happen? Do any of you know what the fuck is going on here? The fuck is going on around here? What's this nonary game? Come on! Anybody? Anything? Maybe you don't what just scream. What are we doing here? No one knows, idiot. Except for him, he killed me. Apparently. But I guess he could still be talking about Zero. But then it's a stupid mystery with no point. And I don't know how- It's 10 o'clock then. I don't know how much of this game is stupid no point. It means it's been an hour since Zero's little announcement. We gotta fucking get on it then. Fuck! I've had enough of this crap. <laughs> How long crap! Pussyfoot around like this. You were not saying pussyfoot. You are not doing that. Maybe Ace. The time limit Zero was going on about is up. 
Let's get going already. Go, go. Go, go, go. No, I refuse. I'm not going to end up like him. Him? You mean the ninth man? Of course. Who else? He broke Blood. the rules, though. Blood and pieces of flesh. That's no way for a person to die. <laughs> he just screwed up. He probably set off some sort of trap, and that killed him. I'm not gonna screw up like that. I'm getting out of here alive. <laughs> <laughs> What's so goddamn? No, oh, I accidentally skipped his dialogue. I'm sorry, Snake. Oh, ah, no Snake. You were just uh, so very confident. I couldn't help myself. What the fuck? This is asshole. He didn't fucking. He's not betraying anybody. He's a. He's a red herring. I think you've mistaken the situation, huh? The ninth man's death. It had nothing to do with the trap, or at least not the sort of trap you imagine it did. No, obviously and not. He broke one of Zero's rules. That was why he died. Quite simple, if you think about it. Huh? Yeah. You still don't. All Let's right. look at the rules I'll again. Do the VN thing where we take a fucking million what years. What say about the number of people? He said only three to five people can pass through one numbered door. And after that? What did Zero say? Uh, uh that everyone verified had to go. All those who enter must leave, and all who enter must contribute, right? I think it was something like that. Whatever it was, it it means that groups of less than three or more than five can't go through. That is correct. A gold star for you, Junpei. The ninth man, however, broke that rule. He tried to pass through a numbered door by himself. By himself, yeah. That was why he was executed. Of course, Durr. From somewhere, making sure we don't break any rules. Oh, I'm not so sure of that. Why not? Because this execution system is entirely automatic. You didn't notice? There's no need for him to monitor us. What do you mean? Very well. I see it must be me who tells you. I've waited long enough, I suppose. I had hoped Zero might spare me the trouble, but that seems increasingly unlikely. Do you know something? Well, I know a great many things, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking asshole. What is it you What done? a shit heel. Here. A card? What does it say? See for yourself. Come on now, what's the point of giving me this? Give me that. Cuz he can't read it. Huh? Or is it is it in braille? What is this? <laughs> I see. This is braille. Yeah, it's braille. Fucking thank you. Sorry guys, I I can't read this. Here, have it back. Okay, that was fun. What's so important about that card? That's real fun. That's real great of you, fucking, uh, snake. I found it in my pocket. Oh, so he had the rules. But he knew that this guy was blind. I can only assume it is a message from Zero. From Zero? A message? Wh what does it say? I assume Calm it was the rules. Now. No need to panic. You don't need to force me. I'll read it. <clears throat> Bracelet number two. Since you are not blessed with sight, I shall bless you and only you with information. I shall tell you of the function of the red, of the dead, and of the bracelet. Red dead bracelet, my favorite video game. Red is the recognition device. It will verify your number. Beside every number door, you will find a red. The dead is the deactivation device. It does exactly what it says. <laughs> it deactivates you. Oh. Also, Snake, how are you doing that with your voice? That's really impressive. <laughs> in, in your butthole. The butthole bomb. Oh, oh I was kind of close. Take a big old poopy. Oh, or, yeah. 
as I mentioned before, the brief light on your left hand contains a detonator. Innovate as a remote field, or timer, for the god in your body. There is only one condition to call it detonate. That condition is that you enter a numbered door. Once you have done so, the timer will activate, no matter who you may be. You will have 81 seconds. 81 seconds. Of course, because it's a multiple of nine. Fucking thrrrr. Birth nine. Every person who varied nitro number must also verify their numbers of the day. Yeah. We get it. Well, 81 seconds is plenty of time. I get it. The after nine seconds. I'm I I I can't understand a word that he's saying, so I'm just reading this. <laughs> nice. This is all the information which I can impart to you. How you choose to use it is for you to decide. If used wisely, you can eliminate those who might be a danger to you. Yeah, big For red time, herring. You would be able to control your fate. He definitely didn't I do it. The best of luck. He definitely didn't lie and killed me. So it's saying. So either Santa or Ace has prior knowledge. The red can pass through the numbered doors. Teams can't add or subtract people after they're scanned in. The reds, deads, and bracelets enforce the rules. They're judge, jury. They're good. They're they're good, bad, and ugly. Oh. A fucking bomb! C come out! Uh, uh, come out, damn it! There's a bomb inside me. Oh. What made Zero think creating this? I feel like of a game was a good idea. I feel like bomb inside you is a bad idea because stomach acid is incredibly acidic, like incredibly so, and the idea that it wouldn't degrade a bomb to the point of failure has always it has always baffled me like maybe that's what should have been a fucking mythbusters episode they should have done that just test like with pig stomach acid or whatever like just throw it on the bomb and see if the bomb fails or like make a bomb in quotes and then there'd be obviously some explosion that's a great plot for an episode of a uh, plot for an episode of mythbusters subject is more accurate Do any of you know anything about zero clearly someone does either ace Actually, or I, santa uh, I saw him. I saw okay well I, when I got grabbed I, we i saw him too i didn't see his face though son of a bitch was wearing some kind of gas mask what the hell come on guys give me something you know like surprise or something I saw that too. Yeah, we all, we all, he all made, sh he made sure we, Me too. that he, blah, blah, that we mask, saw him. Though. That mask, it was really scary. Huh? He's a oh, so fucking three, he's a theatrical son of a, some, um, um, all of our abductions some of um, a bitch. <laughs> we were taken from home God damn it. Midnight. The person claiming to be <laughs> zero had a mask on. There was white smoke, and then each of us passed out. Dioxin. I had... find ourselves on D-Deck, 
in a room with a three-level bunker. I already said that made the dioxysin joke. You, well, I'm some kind of Same asshole. To you? Oh, me? Yeah, well, mine was just like the rest of yours. Okay, uh, that's good enough for now. Maybe it wasn't, though. Hmm, maybe Seven is lying about being a fucking moron. And he's really a super smart genius. So... Because clearly, clearly that was, that seemed lie-ish. Like, oh yeah, I definitely, the same thing happened to me as to everybody else. Snake and Clover, you were both kidnapped from the same room, and you woke up together. Oh. Oh. So, what's the deal with the two of you anyway? Yeah. We're siblings. Oh. Siblings? Could have never fucking guessed that one. Uh, yes. Snake is my older brother, obviously. Huh. That means I'm his little sister. Ms. Oni Chan. Oni San. Are you uh, surprised? Well, uh, yeah. Clearly, Why? you don't even have the same facial structures. To one another, those two, for instance. Yeah, oh, we're childhood you mean friends. Jumpy and me? Fucking oh, weird. Yes. You did say you were childhood friends, didn't you? I guess that makes us slightly less important together. because other people yeah. know each other, but still. Well, yeah. Hey, you think maybe we could figure out who Zero is this way? Yeah, you're right. You connect the dots between the victims and that leads you to the perp. Textbook stuff. Junpei, Jun, does any of this ring a bell? Huh, ring a bell. Uh, we, my, our main character, poor Jumpy, has major... Uh, fucking major solid snake syndrome where he just repeats the same thing and goes, huh, ring a, ring a bell? bell? Huh. Well, perhaps you went to school with the son of a multimillionaire. A millionaire? Son? Well, someone bought this boat and set up all of this. Whoever Zero is, they must be incredibly rich. Yeah, that's well, not... Well, we can't be sure of that. To me, this seems as though it's the work of an organization. Not an individual. Most likely, Zero is simply the representative of a larger group. What hmm. sort of organization? It could be a number of things. An army, perhaps, or a research group. Yeah, we could we could be a uh, fallout moment. Sort of psychological experiment. Vault tech. If it is, then it's a pretty fucked up experiment. Well, no shit. Scientists are bastards. Don't trust I mean, lab coats, on. kids. A guy's dead. You probably don't need me to tell you that, but don't trust lab coats. Sure, he's gonna be pretty fucked up in the head to do all this. This was one guy, and he's got some serious issues. I thought we were finished with that topic. Then what should we do? We should talk it through. Oh my god, enough! All we're doing is talking! Yeah, this is fucking stupid. We're wasting time. You made me so mad, I'm animating! I'm gonna waste the budget until you fucking move on! No, don't flail your hands like that, Santa! Only got seven and a half hours left. Already wasted an hour and a half of our nine hours. Ah ha ha, that was a really good finger pop. Very well then. There's only one way for us to proceed. I've been working on that We're one for like um, five minutes. It was just not happening. Jump. Well, it's stupid to just sit around here doing nothing. Who's Roni? Well, thanks to Snake's card, at least we have some idea of how this all works. He's very um, very recognizable. Oh, Trump. Correct. And so long as we all follow the rules, we should, uh, we will most likely be all right. But... Still haven't played Trauma Team. But what? Who's going to go in which door? Oh yeah, uh, that's right. We can't have any more than five people in one door. All eight of us can't go in the same door. Then it would seem we will have to split up. Wait. I'm telling you now, there is no way in hell that I'm going into door five. Come on now, don't be selfish. Call me whatever the hell you want. I'm not going in there. Baby. If I'm going to have to walk through Baby all that blood, loser. I'd rather stay here. And we were doing so well. And we were doing Sorry, so but well. I ain't going in there either. Someone else can go into door five. 
Oh, Santa, not you too. You guys are bitches. Hey man, I just bought these shoes. I guess it's gotta limit our options I'm somehow. Some creepy dude's blood all over him. You got another thing coming. Got these kicks. What the hell, man? Weren't you the one who kept saying we should get going? Yeah. So? Yeah. Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. He's got he's got riding energy. Oh god. Doesn't mean I wanted to go into door five. Fine. I'll go into door five. I'm not going into door five. Got it memorized. I can't go in there alone though. Anyone else willing to come with me? I'll go. What? Don't worry. You'll be fine. We may part now, but I'm certain we'll meet again later. I like how he, she's the one like, oh no. How do you when, know that? When he's the one who's blind. That's not an answer. That's not an answer. If you're going, I'm going too. I'm going into door five. What am I going to do with you? There's nothing you have to do. If I join you, the problem is solved, correct? Seven is seven, and snake is two. And if you add clovers four in my one, the digital root will be five. Seven plus two plus four plus one is 14. That's nice. The digital root of 14, one plus four is five. <laughs> seven, derogatory. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, jump. Four of us can go into door five. Wait. What about the other four? What's their digital root gonna be? Lotus, Santa, June, and me. Our bracelet numbers are eight, three, six, and five. Let's see if I can do this real quick. So, eight plus three, we get, um, wait, we have three and six is nine. Five, four is nine. So we have 18 plus four, it's 22, so 4, so we're good. What would our digital root be? I mean, I guess you could have figured it out, because we're going to go through door 4, but still. Ah ha ha brain! Braid the power! Our 4 bracelet numbers and the digital root is 4. Then we can go into door 4. Yeah. Huh. That worked out well. So the team assignments will be like this. Seven, Snake, Clover, and Ace. They would go through door five. That means somebody's gonna fucking pick up nine. Lotus, Santa, June, and me will go through door four. I wonder how that works. I wonder if they can just pick up nine's bracelet or if nine's bracelet exploded. Are these really the teams I want? Beyond door five is what remains of the ninth man. Yeah, I wanted to see that. Something's telling me it's a good idea to take check out that bracelet. Of course, if I went through door five, I wouldn't be going with Lotus and Santa. I could bring June with me through door five, but that means she'd have to see the body in there. I don't want to put her through that. Should I stay silent and go through door four? Or should I stop them and insist on door five? Ooh, this is an important decision. All right then. It seems we've reached a conclusion. Shall we go? I'm going through door five. We're over there too, right, Snake? The door's not going anywhere. Slow down. <laughs> I... Which door? Hmm. What do we think, team? I think door four is fine i'm fine with letting me letting it lead me down a path because i know the general idea of these games is that you go through and you fail just generally because you have to fail at least once or twice or maybe even three times to get information yeah i can save um but at the same time uh, I have a flow chart here and eventually you open up a flow chart that lets you see all your decisions and stuff and where things happen and I think I think I heard in this re-release that you can uh you see okay so all of the bad ends in these kind of games are important so you go you make decisions at certain points 
but you learn information along the way. Um, so I, I'm I'm going to meet a bad end, just at the uh, at the outset. Uh, that needs to be clarified. So I'm gonna go and go say go through door four. Say there's a door seven. I'm gonna end up going through the door seven, and then maybe there's a, I don't know a giant fucking spider behind there, and it eats me. But along the way, I'll learn that um, maybe I'll learn information about a person or a location of an item that I'll need later to circumvent a bad end and maybe get out. So that's the general gameplay loop. And so there are clearly two paths here where it diverges. I'm just going to go through door four. I don't care. Stay by her side. This should be fine. I gotta go. Girl, 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 girl. Looks like Ace and the others are going. Have fun, you guys. Now then, goodbye. Be careful. So all of so horrible. What are you doing? We need to hurry. Snake, your shoes. It's fine. Hurry. I can't see it, so it or doesn't are matter. Planning on dying with everyone else. I assume you haven't forgotten the door only remains open for 9 seconds, have you? Sorry, Snake. Let's go. Yeah, you got to fucking move, man. it over there did you find anything at least say something will you well they gotta fucking undetonate themselves first it's just like before probably the sound of the detonator on the bracelet do you think they're okay gotta be that dead thing come on get over here we gotta authenticate Yay! Stopped. Whew. Looks like it stopped. Hey, guys, are you doing all right over there? Yep, we're fine. Oh yeah, uh, I was saying before. I think this re-release of the game is the DS version. Um, and you can there's a flow chart where you can pick where on the story you want to go. It's blue. You know how the red was red? Well, the dead is blue. Duh. It's just like the red. Just say the. Authenticating is the same too. <laughs> awesome. I'm not. I'm not calling Thanks. them the dead and the red. That's so dumb. Well, we should probably move on now. Just call them scanners. Roger that. Whew. Now it's our turn. <laughs> They're just first. scanners, you shithead. Okay, we ready? No. Yeah. Sure. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Bird, 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 bird. Run! You don't have to run. Just walk in oh, the door. Damn. It's counting down. Go back. God, cal the calm down. Hey, Jesus Christ, people. Dead. How would I know? Don't give me that crap. Start looking. I already am. Don't tell me the dead is in one of those rooms. No, oh, this sucks. Oh, no. How many rooms do you think there are? Ah, fuck. Fuck indeed. We don't have time to count. Oh, whoops. We just need to open them all. Good. Same here. It's not moving. Oh, there it is at the end of the hallway. Run. Hey, how many more seconds do we have? How would I know? Our time limit is 81 seconds. I know that, God 
Shit's locked indeed. Ooh. Well, that was stupid. Looks like it stopped. <sighs> There's another door at the end of the hallway. Let's try this one first. And of course it won't open. <laughs> None of these doors. A keyhole. Ah, oh, Sagittarius. What's this mark? It mail? No, not exactly. That's probably the symbol of Mars. Oh, Mars. Sagittarius has the little stabby. Well, technically, they are the same symbol. But I saw a number of similar symbols near the main stairway. The symbols of the solar system. Oh, yeah. That's right. Not necessarily the sun. Saturn and Earth. At least that's what I'm assuming. So this isn't the man symbol. It's a symbol for Mars? I think so, yes. I see. Wait, where's Santa? And yeah, then there's so Santa. He's dead. Over. Here's the deal. None of the other doors open. Then Great. What does mean? We only have two more doors. Maybe it's the room number. B-52s. The door on the left has a B-92. And the one on the right says B-93. I think the Love Shack's in there. All right, let's open them. I met I'll a person who didn't know fucking Love Shack recently. That was a, that was a shocker. Okay, I'll get B-93 then. What a great song. One, two, three. I love how there's it opened like they're all like running yeah, in it did it's so stupid I, uh, I didn't expect that yeah it's so easy maybe this is all part of zero's plan can't say I enjoy being treated like someone's puppet well now we have uh. these two rooms I'm sure there's something in there that will help us get out of here all Let's right go. Santa and I will search this room. Love shack, take the baby, other? love shack. All right. Love, baby, that's where it's at. God, okay. Okay, there are places in this room. Oh, food's ready. Ooh, I'm, oh, no. Oh, we have food. I can hear them. Hello, baby, that's where it's at. That vase looks expensive. I wonder how much we, we could get... I'm just thinking about food now. I wonder how much we could get for it. Are you gonna steal it? <laughs> this is kind of a weird looking picture. Do you think it's an abstract painting or something? It looks kind of like a demon with an elephant-like nose. Sucking on a human being's brain. Where the hell did that come from? What's her brain made of? Can't say I'd mind finding out a little bit more about what goes on in there. Yeah, a big, weird internet reviewer... ...energy. I was looking more at because this looks like a wolf to me, or like a bear, yelling upward. And the rest was just garbage. That's what I see when I immediately look at it, but who knows. The display case. But there's nothing being but being displayed. How sad. Looks like the drawers are empty too. Nice matches to trigger the smoke alarm and drown us. Oh, yeah. That's How's great. Your fever? You feeling better now? Yes. I'm fine. I'm probably gonna cut it at uh two hours. So maybe a few Let's more minutes this. Me. Then I need to go oh. eat. <laughs> Guess it really has gone down. Yeah, just touch her face. You, just touch her face on that? purpose without uh without telling her. Just fucking Yeah, I guess I am worried. What do you mean, come on? Of course I'm Yeah. I, I 
guess I am. Of course I'm worried about you. <laughs> By the way, Jumpy? Hmm? How did you end up here? What do you mean? I told you earlier, didn't I? There was a man with a gas mask when you got home at night. You inhaled some white smoke and passed out. When you woke up, you were on D-Deck. Damn straight. But is that really the truth? <laughs> Damn straight. He sounds like... God, he sounds like Matt Pat. Like Matt Pat specifically. What? Jumpy? Which is a bad thing to sound me? like. No, why would I? Well, if you think about it, this is awfully suspicious. Oh, that's... Wait, what? Are you talking about for Smash? The Smash thing? I mean, why would two childhood friends bump into each other in a place like this? Hey, I could ask you the same nice. thing. Nice. That's Are sick as hell. Something? What would I well, I, I don't know. Anything. I mean, you're hiding it. How would I know? <laughs> you mean, like... The number of men I've dated? <laughs> Do you want to know? Do you want to know? No! Don't worry. Like, what's with your anime wasting Don't disease? <sighs> Time zero. Yeah, I guess I just haven't met Mr. Right yet. Well, how would you if you're not going on dates? Anyway, I'm not hiding anything. Just like you, Jumpy. When I woke up, I was on D-Deck. Well, you do have a point. I mean, why did Zero pick us? We haven't seen each other since elementary school. Hmm, I wonder. Look for what connects the victims. That will lead you to the culprit. Do you remember Seven saying something like that? Yeah, I do. So? Well, that's what I'm saying. I think this must all have something to do with a classmate of ours. You got any ideas? A classmate? No, nothing. Oh, um... Well... If it had something to do with school, then it could be one of our teachers, or maybe the principal. Or the janitor, or the lunch lady. No. <laughs> I barely remember any of them. Yeah, yeah fuck those people. No. They do not exist anymore. As soon as they walk out of my field of vision, they're gone. There's nothing in this play case. Mmm. Oh, it's just water. I was gonna say, oh boy, but no. Oh. Throat feels dry when you wake up. My throat's dry, but I think that's because I'm a little nervous right now. Well, we did run a lot, so we're kind of sweaty. Hey, Jumpy, did you want to take a shower together? Whoa. <laughs> Just kidding. Too late to take it back. My brain's already working on the picture. My throat was dry already. This sure isn't helping. This chick needs to calm down. It's a light blue blanket with some designs on it. Someone made the bed, or at least never unmade it. There's only bed sheets under the blanket, nothing exciting. Pillows. Guess it's a double. Huh? What's up? You're turning red. Oh man, is our fever back? Hey, are you alright? Do you need to lay down for a minute? I'm fine! I think it's still a little early for that. Huh? Jeez, this lady's get she's giving. FF7 Remake Jessie a run for her money. Relax. She wants fucking Dipper. Wooden cupboard. There are cups inside, surprising no one. This isn't a painting. It's a map? It looks like a map of the ship's interior. This is a great find. I think it'll be really useful. Let's take it with us. Yeah, the maps. We just got the map screen. During the story sections. Cool. Over the course of the story. Allow uh, you to see a bird's eye view for that room. Okay. Blah. This ship is bigger than I thought. Just fucking flashed it at me for a second. A low quality uh, JPEG. Yeah, probably about 900 feet long. Must be one of those fancy cruise ships. Of course, it doesn't really look like a cruise ship. Everything in here is really retro huh even if it's just some sort of style choice, i mean he talked about the much. titanic do you remember what zero said yeah the titanic thank you game thank you for reminding me of the thing that happened not 30 minutes ago
Fuck this. Do you think maybe this boat and the Titanic have something to do with each other? Hmm. That's I mean, the Titanic point. did have a sister ship whose name I forget. I doubt he would have mentioned it if there wasn't a reason. I don't think it ever sank. Hmm. Do you think this boat is a replica of the Titanic? A replica of the Titanic? A replica? Yeah, you know, like a copy of the actual boat. Who on earth would make something like that? Fans. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe Titanic I'm thinking fans. of something else. No way. Do you even know how much money that would take? Yeah, it'd take a whole lot of money. You'd have to go to Mexico to film your movie and pay Mexican workers like nothing and to sand chairs and shit for your movie. That's bad. No idea. All they've got to do is break even, you know? Break even? Yeah, they could use it as a cruise ship. Climb aboard a piece of history, sail around the world in the resurrected Titanic. Or you could film a bad movie there, Hell, as I've mentioned before. Like that, they probably have more customers than they know what to do with. Do you really think people would want to ride on a ship with such an ominous past? It's the site of the worst accident in history. The worst accident in history. Over 1,500 people died. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd get cursed just for going. A curse, huh? Jumpy, do you believe in that sort of thing? You know. No. No, they're garbage. Sorry, but I, I can't really say I believe in that kind of stuff. Uh, what about you? No, I, I guess that's kind of a dumb question. Hmm. Yes, I do believe in curses. Curses are not real. Fact, I think it was a curse that sunk the Titanic. Hmm. Hmm. What? 4D chess thinking. Curse sank the Titanic. The no, an curse iceberg. Of the Egyptian mummy. Supposedly, the Titanic carried the mummy of the priestess Amun-Ra. Well, supposedly, the Titanic also carried uh, four Senate members, I believe, who were against the creation of the Federal Reserve. So, uh... Which was stolen from a pyramid. <laughs> and they say that the mummy had a history. Everyone involved with it died mysteriously. I don't know anything about this shit. I don't know if there was. I, there, on, this I'm might sure be a complete lie. Those who open the coffin will be forever cursed. Uh, haven't you ever heard that one? I mean, yeah, but not about the so Titanic, Titanic mummy. Because of that curse? I feel like that's bullshit. That's right. I feel like you're lying to me. Uh, that's stupid. I don't buy it. I don't buy it either. It's true. I do buy the conspiracy that that it was a. Uh, used to create the Federal Reserve, though. How can you be so sure? That mummy wasn't just a normal mummy. It was really mysterious. Totally unbelievable. What is so unbelievable about it? Well, supposedly, she was really pretty. As a mummy? Pretty? Yes. But it, she was a mummy. That's right. She wasn't all shriveled up or rotten or anything. She almost looked well, then that that's bullshit. Oh, that's okay, not how that it. works. Okay, it's that thing. I, uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, where your body turns into some kind of wax? Yeah. Oh, God. Here we go. So, this is the part. Yeah, this is the Kojima ink. That in it turns into something kind of like candle wax, right? And... Yes, a pontification. But that's not what it was. Huh? That's not it. She wasn't wax. Then what was it? They say that she was frozen. What? They're frozen? What? That's this right. guy's voice but acting is all over the place. Frozen solid. You know how a human body is more than 60% water? Well, all of that water was frozen. The story says that from the time of its discovery all the way through to when it got put on the Titanic, even though it was carried through the desert, her body never melted. That's crazy. <laughs> I think so too, but maybe it's true and we just didn't know about it before. I didn't know? Yep. Maybe it's common sense to eat shaved ice in the desert because it lasts forever. Huh? Nah, that seems too silly to be true. But maybe it isn't. It just appears that way because you didn't know it was true. 
This is insane. This is this is an insane woman. She has problems in her brain. Desert? Does something like that really exist? No. If it did, it wouldn't really be ice anymore, would it? Hmm. Yeah, ex this that woman is insane. She has brain problems with her brain. It's light. Even if it's heavy? That's light. That's terrible. And I'm insulted. Oh nice, a key. Dresser key. This is the mirror for the dresser. And now she's playing with her hair. Does she even realize she's doing that? Hey, we don't have time for that. Come on, it's not like there's anything, anyone here you need to impress. Yes, there is. Who? What? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? Ugh, forget it, Jumpy. God, she really is giving Remake Jessie a run for her money. Nothing else. Jumpy, where are you going? Um, I was thinking go of going over to Lotus's room. Why? What do you mean, why? I'm just gonna go check, check up on them. Is there something wrong with that? Well, no. Come back soon. Sure thing. I'll leave the rest to you. Sure. Leave it to me. Alright, off to the other room. Well, I didn't know that this was the... Yes. Yes. I can't just leave her there. <laughs> Nah, blah, you're creeping me out. Blah, blah, blah. No, oh, it just transitions right from the. I kind of thought that there would be something to talk about, but clearly not. There's a little blue platform protruding from the shower wall next to the knobs. It's for putting soap on. I need to shower once, so I know. <laughs> That's the shower knob. Let's see if anything happens when we turn it. No water's coming out. Nothing special about it. That's the bathroom wall. There are square tiles all over it. Covered with square tiles. They've all got geometric shapes on them. Just like this, uh, this key I have. Hello? Or, hmm. It's not just the shape. There's designs. There's filled in spots. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, well. Full and partially depleted rolls of toilet paper. Someone was well prepared. There's nothing too suspicious about it, other than it's a full and a partially used one, like as if someone used it. That's weird. If this is like a, a set or something. So it might not be a set, it might just be an actual modified Titanic replica. Which is also insane. No water in the toilet tank. Yeah, let's go back to the living room. Mmm, mmm, thinky, thinky, thinky. What is this? No, let me see that. Oh, oh this has got stuff in it. Well, this is a de this. Blah, 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 blah. Heard him hear his fire. Okay, cool. I'm starting to go blah, 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 nuts. Well, this is a display case. Check it out. These plates and shit look really expensive. You want to take a look? Damn. Guess this is the wrong key. Well, that means there's got to be another one somewhere around here. Otherwise, we aren't going to be able to open this thing. Hey, this is... familiar. Familiar in style. Also familiar in bad JPEG quality. The room in the back is dark. Aren't there any lights? Huh? This is a light switch, right? Sweet, I could use some light. Shoot, no dice. You think the bulbs are burned out? Either that or the electricity to this room was deliberately shut off. I don't really give a crap why it doesn't work. It doesn't work, and we can't do shit about it. 
It's way too dark in here to see anything. We're going to need some light. Alrighty. Let's see if this, yes, yes, it worked. Okay, so that took the dresser out. Oh, I got a, a piece of, oh, it's the painting. But it's like that. It's this piece of the wolf. It's the little wolf mouth. I'm very smart. It doesn't look like this light can turn on. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something else that can light this place up. Like a candle, for example. A candle with a candlestick. This might come in handy. I know. If I use these matches to light the candle, Lit candle! Look at it! <laughs> it's just a model! I can do this! Genius! Awesome. With the light from the candle, maybe we can make- take a look around here. I'm hungry. I can smell the food. It's- oh boy. Why don't you sit it on top of the dresser? It's flat there. At least it won't fall over. Oh yeah. Good idea. Thonk. Hey. It got pretty bright. Now we can look around a little. Got a curtain for a shower, I guess. I can't, uh, can't examine this, can I? Search. Oh, search is just examine the, the item. Hang from something. Yes, but it doesn't look like a normal curtain. The way it feels, I think it's probably waterproof. Which would make this a shower curtain. A shower curtain, huh? That's a strange design. Is it ceramic? It doesn't look like there are any puzzles in it. Two pillows in a pile. Oh. A pile of pillows. Is that supposed to be some kind of joke? Hey, calm down. Huh? Hey, what the hell? It just got dark all of a sudden. Maybe the candle got blown out? We should go see. What? Well, they th fucking took our candle! Oh. That was fucking fast. The top of the candlestick looks kind of weird, like a key or something! Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Part of the candlestick where the candle goes looks like a key. A key, huh? I think I ran into a lock I couldn't open earlier. <laughs> that's so stupid. Candlestick key. Yes, it opened. All right, pull that shit open. He fucking loves swearing. Which I guess I can relate to. I don't know what part of the... The painting this is. I don't think it's the wolf mouth. It's hard to tell. No, this is the part... Anyway, not important right now. We'll figure it out. Hey, don't you think this powder, the pattern on that tile looks like something? Yeah, I think I saw it somewhere. Hey, Junpei, you got a minute? Hmm? Here, take this. A bookmark? What is this for? Uh, do you want I found it in between some of the cushions on the sofa. Pretty sure it ain't gonna be any help to us, but I figured we might as well hang on to it anyway. Then why don't you hold on to it? Ah, uh, shoot, Tiara. <laughs> you know what I hate most in the world? I got four things. How well do I know my my like my specific computer? Um, I mean I know what parts I bought, but I don't know them very well. If you're looking to build a PC, um, there are lots of good 
places to start. I just went on PC Part Picker, and um, on PC Part Picker, you can, I think that's what it's called, PC Part Picker, but if you search that, you'll come up with it. They have a lot of pre-builds, but they also have uh, compatibility stuff, so you can pick your parts, and then it'll tell you whether your parts are compatible, or if your power supply has enough wattage to run all that stuff, or if your motherboard's compatible with your graphics card, or whatever. All that stuff, you can turn on an option when you're building the PC. PC part builder? PC builder? PC part picker? Something like that. Oh, I don't know anything about laptops. Yeah, I just, I just have a couple of tools that I know about. Um, that help me y use my <laughs> sort of, uh, rudimentary detective skills to figure things out more. Anyway, as Santa was saying. Hope, faith, love, and luck. Faith, hope, hope love. Faith, love, and luck. Damn straight. And you hate these and things? And you hate these things. The three of the things that now yeah, abideth. With that? Uh, not really, but... I do. I think you're terrible. I think you're a bad person. What does a bookmark have to do with any of that? Well, it's a clover, uh, right? See, each leaf on the four-leaf clover has a meaning to it. Okay? Oh, God. Once again, the Kojima-ing. meaning is pretty much those four words. It's like a flower language. Well, I guess it's not a flower, is it? So, leaf language, I guess? Yeah leaf words yeah it's it's yeah it's he hates white woman kitchen decoration hope faith love and luck but the greatest of these as we all know is love the meaning of the leaves on a four-leaf clover so yeah i want you to take it okay just touching it gives me the creeps take the damn thing all right here. Everyone's fucking superstitious in this. All right, I'll take it. All right, sure. I'll take, take it. it. I mean, four. Man, I feel a lot better now. Ah, four chan also. But I was saying four, just in general. That thing was a real pain, you know. You because really of because of four. They keep saying yeah, four well, a lot. Making all the trail, you know. Hope, faith, love. Even your destiny. Well, that's not my only reason. What? That's not the only reason I hate the four-leaf clover. I just can't bring myself to like the number four. There we go. What? Worried about the four horsemen? Nah, come on, man. That's just silly. Maybe back in the dark ages that kind of crap scared people. But this is the 21st century. And I'm a 21st century guy. I'm superstitious about the number four. Then why do you hate four so much? Cause it's a half-assed number. <laughs> Not the best or the worst. That's why. You, what? Nine is a way better number. So what if it's last place, right? At least it's not some lame-ass middle number. What are you... You play? Play? You mean like gambling? You mean like gambling? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would I mean? Um, eh. In Baccarat, the best possible hand totals nine. They call it Le Grand. Le Grand. The lowest Le Grand. Cards, zeros. They call monkey. Yeah. I could have... I would have... It was Just a like perfect time to explain that four is bad luck. <laughs> Zero's a monkey. What? <laughs> the guy who trapped us in here sure is one hell of a monkey. You know, this is stupid. This is a stupid is conversation. <laughs> this is fucking deranged. Of course, it doesn't use any of that stupid digital root junk. You just drop the tens digit, and that's it. Still, it does have the same idea of your final number needing to be a single digit. Oh, yeah. I guess you got a point. And in both games, yeah, the four horsemen bit. Win. These all, all these bits are terrible. They're like it's like VR chat where everyone is running around in a public space trying to do a bit, and they're all, like, shooting past each other. One guy's trying to be, like, a character from South Park. 
one guy's doing a tiny anime girl and he's doing a bad anime girl voice. One guy is pretending to be another streamer. And they're all just talking past each other, trying to make their own bits get over. But they're not willing to sacrifice their own bit in order to make it work. The person who makes nine wins? Stupid. Did you forget already? Don't you remember what Zero said? It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door. That yeah, Junpei can't do that cool thing with his voice. Snake can, though. Snake can channel the the voice modulator while he talks and describes what something says on paper. But Junpei just talks normal because he's not as cool. So, if we want to get off this boat, we have to make a team whose numbers have the digital root of nine. And only the people in that team are going to make it out alive. Of course. That's why it's called the Nonary Game. What? Huh? You don't know. Nonary means something derived from nine or base yeah, nine. Yeah, base nine, yeah. It's derived from the Latin prefix nona, which means, which means nine. While we're at it, the prefix for one is uni. You know, like the unicorn, the horse with one horn. Two is bi, like bi the binary. Bi means composed of two parts. Three is tri. Tri, sorry, yeah. One, like trio, triple, and triangle. You get the idea. Fours, quad, quinty, quinty sext, sext, septum, and so on. Octo. And of course the prefix for eight is octo, like octopus. It's called that because it has eight legs. Get it? Yes, we get it. We're like older than six. So then Nona means nine. Ooh. So how many of us are trapped on this ship? That'd be nine. And what are the bracelet numbers we have? They go from one to nine. And our time limit? How many hours did we have? Zero said nine hours. And finally, to get out of this ship. We need to find the door with a nine that's hidden somewhere in the ship. By making a team with the digital root of nine. And there you have it. The number nine is everywhere in this game. He's got a real theme of nines for this whole thing. No wonder it's called the Nonary Game. Well, there you go. The whole plot is explained very neatly. Oh, look. Valuable vase. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go look at the... Wait, what did it say? There's a room left of the vase. Oh, I thought it said, like, on the left side of the vase. And I'm like, I can't get it. I can't get the room. Turn the water on. That's the shower knob. I tried turning it, but no water comes out. Whoa, look! Junpei. There's a mushroom growing out of the wall. Um, that's a shower head. God, these this peop people are fucking... This is the bathroom wall. The whole wall is covered in these square tiles. Is there anything in the toilet? Guess not. The tank's empty too. Some toilet paper. We've got two rolls, I guess. Well, let's check this out. Hey Junpei, that tile you've got. You think maybe you're supposed to put it in one of those empty spaces? I mean, the pattern does look kind of the same, doesn't it? He's right. I think so too. But if that is the case, you're going to need to collect all three tiles, right? Don't you think we should collect all of them before you start putting them in? Well, I could just put in a couple now. Just for safekeeping. Hey, check this out. This is a pretty nice sofa. I know. It's a shame I can't take it back with me. Round wooden table. Can't see anything else in here. Guess there's nothing else, huh? This is the mirror for the dresser. Damn straight. Nothing weird about it, though. Nothing else in here. The light is as cold and quiet as death itself. Chair that goes with the dresser. There's nothing particularly interesting about it. Well...
There are a number of expensive looking plates. Base looks pretty expensive. It's very expensive, Douglas. Can't say if they're very good or not. Nothing? You're not gonna try and break shit? Just... Not even just for fun? Whatever. Loser. Chunpei. If you miss her so much, you don't have to keep coming back here. No, that's not what this is. I'm just being like a bridge between the two rooms. Uh-huh. You just keep telling yourself that. Now get out of here and go help June. All right, Jesus. I get it, yes, yes. What are you mumbling about? Did you figure something out? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. What? No, there's a, tell her there's a painting that's exactly the same as this in another room. Jumpy, what are you doing? We don't have time to be relaxing on a sofa. There's nothing in the display case. The drawers are empty too. Bottle with some water in it. Nothing in the frame. Wooden cupboard. Nothing useful in there. Nothing. Bed frame. Now we don't have to worry about falling off. I toss and turn when I sleep. The hell is she thinking about? I wonder. Oh gosh. Oh geez. Oh man. I wonder. We sure there's nothing else? Can't fucking find shit. There's another. Where is it? Can I not look down? Oh. Oh. This just shows where we are. And there are. Oh, well, there you go. So uh, it just gives you a little bit of a shower head. No one's used it in a long time. Well, there's fucking nothing in here. God damn it, where are the other pieces? Where? Oh, it's bot. Oh, yes! Yes! Oh, power! Unlimited power! I was not paying attention. I was looking for the, the thing. I st Where the fuck is it? I have two of them. Can I combine them? There's a curtain rod running along the ceiling. I forgot to do this while I was in here before. Let's put the shower curtain on those hooks. Let's try spreading the curtains. Wow, that's a pretty obvious peephole. Somebody's really dedicated. Well, with a hole this big, you gotta wonder if maybe they wanted to be caught. So you're saying maybe the one getting spied on was into that shit? Maybe they were into those like home invasion fantasies? Home invasion? Interesting. I see. You two are real idiots, you know that? Okay, now turn around. Let's try spreading the curtains. There's a hole in the curtain. If I look at it from a ways back, I can see a single tile. Right from here, I can see what tile it is. Looks like it's fifth from the top and third from the right. All right, looking through this hole, I can see a white tile, fifth from the top and third from the right. Uh, let's have a closer look, shall we? Hmm, nothing strange here. Nope, the thing's not budging. Huh. Well, then that means... What? No. Oh yeah, there's another bathroom. Oh, thank you for the hint. I probably would have figured that out eventually. <laughs> but definitely uh took me a minute there. Here it is. Yes, this one's loose. And I think I can get under this with my nails and Yes! The other play. Hell yeah. 
Look, it's a shower. These are just tiles, though. And let's go back. Let's solve this puzzle and I can finish this stream. Tile with a black and white pattern on. There's a tile in the frame, so I guess I'm supposed to put the tiles in the empty spaces? All right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh, fuck. Where's my wolf head? Okay. Okay. And I think... No, clearly. Yeah, there we go. I was thinking that that was down there. Yes! I did it! There. Picture complete. And there goes the frame. What's this? What do you mean, what's this? Pretty obvious, isn't it? It's a hole in the wall. Like a hidden safe or something, you know? Anyway, let's take a look. I think there's something inside. Hell yeah, Mars Key. What's the deal with this picture anyway? I... I think I've seen this picture before. Yeah, in the other room. Where? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. Oh He's God, the Kojima ing. It's back. I saw this picture in his book. It's just a suggestion thing, What's right? This interesting theory. Morphogenetic fields. Oh the God. Theory of morphic resonance. Morphogenetic fields. There it is. With this, just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. No, morphogenic fields are actually it's really not cool. A difficult concept to grasp. It's essence, it's magic. Transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult? It's karma. It's it's karma. It's a scientific oh, explanation for this? for the for the way that the universe does things magically. Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. <laughs> Are you serious? Telepathy? Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? <laughs> Who do you think I am? Ted Kaczynski? Being kidnapped and put through MK Ultra experiments? I someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. I mean, it's interesting. It's it's a little more interesting than that. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. But even so, I um, it's just it just re it's basically scientific scientifically reaffirms what we all know, which is that uh everything happens for a reason, and that uh there are definitely things going on that you can't see. It's like how. A dog knows when its owner's coming home, even if the owner doesn't know it yet. Anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Same with crystal formations. It's uh, you know, like how the um, how Darwin and like some Eastern is it was he Chinese? I think. Anyway, they created the theory of evolution pretty much at the exact same time. Um, there's the one about. Um, crystal formation, so like when a new species is discovered, uh, or, um, when a new crystal formation is found, suddenly it's way easier to find it in the wild. Like, people just find more and more examples of it. Stuff like that. Okay. That's morphogenetic what fields. Like? What do you mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. That's not it. not necessarily. What about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? Yeah, it looks like a wolf head. I guess it looks like man's face, a butterfly, cor a dog, a dog, a dog. In your impa, I don't know what that means, but it looks like a dog. Maybe uh, a dog. No, see, you got the you got the head here, and then these are the front paws, and then these are the back paws. Oh. Oh! I was just saying. Wolf head. Oh, I 
see it. I guess you've got a point. How did you know? You're right. Oh, yeah, see, I knew. I didn't think you would have been able to guess that. I'm very observant. So? Now we know what it's a picture of, but I, I don't see how that helps us. A, a TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. They took two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify, initially. But, but then you, you tell someone what it is, it's way easier to see. I still see the wolf head. <laughs> These two pictures. The first was a woman wearing a hat. The other one, well, to make it easier. Yeah, Let's yeah, yeah. It was this picture of a dog. So, their experiment. First, they sent the picture to other parts of the world outside the reach of British Airways. To Ireland, US, Africa, Yeah, yeah, okay, I was gonna say. Then, once other people figured it out, then it was, yeah, then, morphogenetic the fields. Country, they gathered a number of test subjects, roughly a thousand people. They were shown the two pictures and asked, What does this picture look like to you? The results weren't really interesting on their own. 9.2% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. Mm hmm. 3.9% saw the dog in the dog picture. Then, two days later, they aired a new program on their show. During the 30-minute show, they broadcast the dog picture and its solution. The audience was estimated to be 200,000 people. After the broadcast, it was a safe bet that the number of people who knew the solution to the dog picture was at least that many. After another two days passed, they gathered more research subjects from areas outside the reach of British TV and radio. This time, they only found a sample of roughly 850 people. Naturally, none of them had participated in the first test. They were, however, given the same test and the same two pictures. The results were startling. 10% of the people saw the lady in the lady picture. Which is within statistical reality. The previous test sat at a 9.2% success rate. Not much of a change, statistically. The yeah. dog picture, however, produced a very different result. The percentage of people able to successfully find the dog, it went from 3.9% to 6.8%, a very significant increase. So do you understand? Do you realize the significance of this experiment? Yes, the human te telepathic hive There's mind. No way the second group could have seen the picture. They lived far away from Britain and couldn't have seen it. But even so, it was only the success rate for the dog picture that went up. Why? How did that happen? What does it mean? Did they do more studies where they did the same thing? Does this have something to do with that field or whatever it was that you were talking about earlier? Yes, that's what morphogenetic fields is. So if more people know the answer... It's also how crystals grow. <laughs> because no one knows how or why. It's like when you put so honey this is also with honey um you have normal honey and then you have crystallized honey which is like super thick and um like granular like there are weird granules and it's it's like um it looks more like candle wax like you know how you'd see like a beige candle when you're looking at it it looks like a beige candle but it's the consistency of really, really thick honey. And the way to make honey crystallize into that is to put a spoonful of the crystallized honey into the non-crystallized honey, and then it crystallizes. Psych! <laughs> I was just kidding. You really shouldn't take me seriously. Well, I mean, the things I just told you about are true. They really did happen. But the results of that experiment really aren't anything to go by. They could have easily falsified them. Uh, falsified yeah, them, sure or it's just statistical it. weirdness. So a TV station, after all. Right. Man, I gotta admit, you had me there for a minute. I uh, really thought you were serious. <laughs> of course not. Like I told you before, I'm sure it's all just pseudoscience. Uh, oh, okay, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Enough nonsense. We've got the key. Let's get out of here. Word. Huh. 
field not visible to the naked eye. Morphogenetic field. Huh. Morphogenetic fields, huh? Yeah. As I was saying, this guy's got a serious case of, uh... <laughs> of... Of, uh, Solid Snake Syndrome. Let's return to the title screen. All right, that's going to do it for me. Thanks, you guys. This was a lot of fun. I can't wait for them to tell me more things about Wikipedia articles that the guy who wrote this read. I'm very excited. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow with something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Whoa, oh, this is a nice burp. I better go. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, thanks for coming by for the smash thing. TR, that was cool. Maybe more KH. That's what I was thinking. Um, Since you can be there, I think that's probably what I'll do. We're burning through that game. I'm hoping to finish it pretty soon here.